Hello, I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital, and we're here to talk about an infectious disease that we mostly see in dogs. It's rarely been reported in cats, but the disease is called leptospirosis. Leptospirosis is actually a bacteria. When a veterinarian gives a vaccine, they usually give a vaccine for something that is an infectious disease, and it's something that is serious. Rabies, distemper, parvovirus. Those are all viruses. Leptospirosis is one of the few things that we use as a bacteria um, as a bac for a vaccine. And it's incorporated into the vaccine that we administer to our patients, at least what we recommend administering. Leptospirosis is a disease that can be picked up from basically from urine from any animal and it can come through intact skin or cuts or through the mucous membranes like the cheeks um, and when it gets into the bloodstream it will usually go one of two places the liver or the kidney um, it usually ends up in the kidney and what it does is it causes kidney disease the biggest problem that we find with this disease with leptospirosis is that it's very difficult to diagnose there's no real set test, and it can be something that's on the bottom of the list of a veterinarian's thought process. But when it gets into the body and it starts to cause kidney disease, that can lead to kidney failure, which certainly leads to death. This shows a nice, healthy kidney, um, nice normal size, nice architecture, and this shows a shrunken down kidney, and you can even see from the back there's scar tissue, it's not getting enough blood supply. This is what a kidney would look like if a pet had leptospirosis. The thing that we're finding with leptospirosis is it's becoming more commonplace. We are hearing from other veterinarians in our area, specialty clinics, emergency clinics, internal medicine specialists that are colleagues of ours. They're seeing a rise of this disease, at least in the Midwest and the St. Louis area. We also probably see a little bit more in our area because it's a little bit more rural. And remember, it comes from mice, any kind of mammal, basically mice, um, farm animals, uh, and it comes from the urine, so stagnant water, little ponds, areas uh, that uh, have holding water, that's where they're going to pick it up from. So we firmly recommend using a vaccine for leptospirosis. And the vaccine that we use is called Leptospira, and it has all of these different serovars, it's like a subspecies. The one that we use has four in there. And basically what happens is we give four, but it cross-reacts to the whole kit and caboodle of leptospirosis, which are actually 10 separate serovars, or again, kind of a subspecies. So when I have my new puppy with Emmy, we make sure that she is vaccinated for leptospirosis. We live on property, we take her backpacking, we take her, take her on hikes, and she's always around water. So we want to make sure that she's protected from that. Biggest side effect with leptospirosis vaccine is that it can actually have some adverse reactions as a kind of allergic reaction. Because it's a bacteria, not a virus, it's a little bit larger molecule. So what happens is some pets will have just general fever, malaise, soreness, maybe not eating. That's certainly a livable side effect, but some dogs do have a true allergic reaction, and that is hives, facial swelling, all the different things that go on with any kind of more significant reaction like one would see with penicillin or with shellfish or something. The treatment for leptospirosis, if we actually get it diagnosed in time, is using penicillin. And when we use penicillin, we have to use this for about a month, twice a day, and it has to be given in a large syringe, and it has to be given into a muscle. It's, it's painful. It's uncomfortable. So we tell people that our feeling is with leptospirosis, it is a disease that is not only preventable, but it's a disease that people can get too. So we kind of, we require it. We want to make sure that pets are vaccinated for it. We highly suggest it. Not everyone accepts that, but a very small percentage don't. So when it comes to this condition, again, vaccination is very important, especially with the whole thought process that we can pick it up, your children can pick it up, and it can be transferred to other pets in the family. So leptospirosis vaccine is the way to go. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital. Have a very good day.